Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning October 21st, 2019. So I'm going to do as I usually do, I'm going to tune in to a channeled message. It might look a little weird, but it's just the process and then we will get into the cards. So let's just tune right in. I feel like <laughs> the message is already about connection and I've been getting this for a while now and I'm finally recording and we will get this in. So I suspect that they're going to be talking about that. We'll see, but I will be recording a video about Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson and the docu-series and what that has to do with connection because that was a whole other message that was coming through. Um, the message was about connection, but then my human brain started to attach it to <laughs> the docu-series because that's what I have been living for recently. So let's just get into it here. Bear with me as we get silent. <sighs> I have Archangel Metatron here, so we'll let him come on in. Yes, connection indeed. Many of you have forgotten that you are not actually individuals, but rather part of a greater grid, if you would like to see it that way. We're helping you. You have talked before about activation codes, and yes, this is exactly it. But we must begin slowly with you, though you have come very far. Yes, settle in. For if we activate too much at once, you will see a great uprising on your planet. And this is simply because the density frequency cannot handle and adjust to those higher activations just yet. But in small doses, you are awakening. This is your big word, isn't it? Awakening. It is time to realize how you can be of service to others. And no, it may not look as your ego will tell you it must. Michelle will tell you a story, a conversation we've had in good time. Sometimes the greatest storytellers are the ones that are providing connection. For if everyone plugs in, to a story, to an event, to a part of history. There you come alive. Unfortunately, many humans have connected in tragedies. But it doesn't need to be that way anymore. Now, you can connect. You've always been able to, but you have not previously chosen it. But now you might see and choose to connect through joy, through happiness of one's success. Michelle will tell you a story in good time. We want you to be aware that your time of competition, this only separates you. Do not look one upon the other and say, it is unfair. You have so much and I have so little. For everything is offered in equal measure. It is a matter of whether you choose. Ah, for many of you say, ah, how can we choose? You choose in your energy, not in your mind. Michelle will also tell you this story in good time. When you settle into a free flow, and you understand that you are just as worthy as anyone else. 
the part that is yours will come to you. And understand, even in that, it is not a separate piece that is yours. It is you coming and connecting in to a greater source and being a part of it as opposed to floating out in a way thinking yourself all on your own. You're never on your own. Michelle is very tired today. So we will leave her now. And we ask you to remember to connect into the joy. Connect to one another in this manner. And you will see as time goes on, there will be more and more connection through happiness. And there will be no need for you to manifest great lessons that form in the way of a tragedy. Let that be done. There's great joy waiting for you. And so it is. With great love, we leave you. Okay, yeah, you called me out. Yeah, I'm a little tired today. <laughs> <laughs> I did observe that part. I was sort of like, wait, what? <laughs> don't, don't be telling people this is YouTube. Excuse me. All right, guys. So let's get on to the cards. All right. So connection. Um, I did hear the part about Michelle. I, I heard it a few times. Michelle will be telling the story. Uh, so this was an observation that I had just about pop culture and how we can look around and see what's happening and how people are connecting into that. Okay. And I guess I was supposed to tell another story. I don't know what. I, I guess I'll know when I go back and, <laughs> and edit. All right, so I'm going to be using the Magdalene Oracle and, of course, pulling a color card. So let's see what else we have. If you like what you are seeing, if this is exciting for you, please make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That helps me out a lot, and it will let you know when I have new content up. I am getting the Angel Souls Academy up and running. I will be having a course there about how to open your heart. But if you want to check out also the uh, workshop series that I've done previously, that could also help you get into your higher consciousness. And of course, I still offer personal readings. So if you want to check out that for yourself, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. And a special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. All of that information will be down below. All right. Let's see here, guys. Nope. So the card that flipped out, I'm not sure if, the, if I had the cards up high enough. <laughs> here we are. We have Sophia. So this purple and the rose, those are always the things that pop out at me with this card, first and foremost. And what this is saying, to me, this feels like the crown chakra, sure. But this is also like it's the divine feminine energy coming forward. So we're talking about uh, connection. And that being a theme here, um, but this feels like connection through nurturance. Yes. So again, not having, not waiting until something really becomes a common enemy to step up and um, feel at one with another person or to feel, I'm getting the message here about how people will, <sighs> this is kind of weird, but segregate through relationships segregate through relationships, which means people get into, you know, they'll partner off with one another with one other person that kind of understands them and then it's them against the world. We need to stop that, right? That's not going to get us into our wisdom. And that's what it is. It's the heart wisdom. It's the wisdom coming through your emotions. So if you start feeling something that you don't want to feel, right? It's not, um, it's not for you to run away from it, but rather see what's behind it. What is bringing that forward? What is that a call to action for, right? So if you are in a depressed state, you know, obviously go out and get yourself some help with a therapist, treat the mental body. I always say treat the mental body, but from the spirituality standpoint, where is the low frequency coming from, right? And so you might go to an event and say, it's this, or you might say, well, it's just kind of chronic for me. It's just who I am. Now you're defining yourself by a low frequency. 
Okay. What are your belief systems about yourself? What do you think you're capable of? You see how it keeps going and going and going? So this is that kind of message here where it's like tune into your own wisdom, but nurturance. Yes, it's all about nurturance and the, the emotions. All right. Yeah, surrender. Don't try to control things this week, guys. It's just not going to work out well for you. Okay. And you can even see here, she's taking a little nap. She's taking a little rest. <laughs> right? And it does talk about stop fighting, stop swimming upstream when you don't have to. Everything you want is downstream, right? So surrender to the flow, surrender to what is happening. A lot of us, I think we get trained as humans to think that we have to be uh, contriving every moment of our lives. We have to be controlling it. We have to make sure the next step is in place and the next step and the next step and the next step. And really you end up in a place that you don't want to be. I know I do readings for people and they come to me and they say, I got the education. I got the perfect job. I got the perfect husband, wife, kids, one dog, picket fence kind of situation. Why am I miserable? Right? We're understanding this more and more and it's because they've plotted out all of their, <laughs> their whole life that they've never left any room for authentic flow. And in that authentic flow, you're going to discover things about yourself that you never knew was possible. And you might be a little, I don't know, maybe unsettled by it. <laughs> because again, we get into this space of, I have to be defined as X, Y, and Z. And that's it, right? No other options could be possible, <laughs> all right? And this is saying, surrender that idea, all right? You do not need to live like that. There are other options, new things coming to you. Um, I'm getting the example, we were talking about people segregating themselves in couples. This could also be someone who, you know, maybe you've been telling yourself, I wanna be in a relationship, I wanna be in a relationship. But then when one comes, you're like, oh, I feel trapped. We can start coming out of this energy now where we feel like we have to pair off, okay? Like if you know somebody who has, for example, gone through a divorce, I've seen this where like there's a lot of pressure to get that person dating again. Why? <laughs> Why? Why can't they be on their own? Why can't they learn a little independence? Why can't they reclaim themselves in that way? All right? So we're going to start seeing this energy shift, guys. I have videos up on that, so check those out. Uh, about the 2020 to 2024 energy. I'm going to be coming out with a video about spiritual death. Yes, that's going to be coming out. I'm going to be explaining that one. And uh, it's just a different time. It's a different approach, really across the board. <laughs> okay. So you don't have to pair off if you don't want to. Revelation. Isn't that a revelation? Hey, it's okay for you to be on your own if that's what feels right for you. So this revelation card talks about a worldwide revelation and it talks about that sort of then uh, trickling down to you as an individual. Yes, because the energies are shifting. I think a lot of us are going to be getting into a space where we there's really no option but to flow <laughs> with what is happening because there is no hanging on to anything. It's like trying to grab water in your hand. It's not going to happen. The hand isn't a container. I mean, it might be for a second, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you, you're going to have this revelation of where you've been, how you've lived your lives, and how you need to shift and how you need to turn. So do not let this week be the kind of thing where you are pressuring yourself and being like, oh my gosh, I have to do it right. We saw that in 2012, let's let it go. 2012 was a little cringy with how people were approaching spirituality. It was like, okay, I'm gonna study, I'm gonna do it the best possible way, I'm gonna be better than anybody else. And it really was more competition. And people saying, I'm an incarnated mermaid, I'm an incarnated angel, I'm from this planet, I'm from that planet. And just really doing everything. I mean, we just saw so many examples where people were trying to box themselves into a label. Yes, this is where we started seeing people defining themselves as healers or messengers. Um, why can't you be both? I don't know. Like you can have healing messages. <laughs> so like, I don't know. I've met plenty of healers who have then had messages for me at the end of a session. So now we're in a space where we can let that go. We can be done with that. We can flow with our experiences a little bit more. And the revelation is, I think, it'll be different for everybody out there, but that we don't have to try so hard. Everything that we need to be, we are becoming. Every bit of tool that we're going to need in order to understand that is going to be activated within us. Yes, I believe Metatron said a little by little. 
Again, I won't know until I go back and edit, <laughs> but I think I, I remember that. Okay, so then we have Saint Sinner. Here we go. A black or white kind of life. It's good, it's bad. I'm, you know, having a good day, I'm having a bad day. This person's for me, that person's not for me. This is how I believe, and if you don't believe the same way I do, then you're not worth being around. <sighs> you're having, this is what it is, here it is. You're having a really deep revelation about this dichotomous kind of existence or this uh, duality consciousness. It's, something's breaking open this week. Again, it does feel like it... See, when we say a worldwide stage, everyone, I think, immediately thinks like, oh, we're looking at an event, <laughs> right? We're not looking at an event. We're looking at, um, you know, trends and how people are responding to their lives and how they are living their lives and choices that they're making, all right? So what I'm saying is, is I think a lot of people are going to be going through this simultaneously, okay? And that's where we get that collective energy opening up. Cool? All right. Where's my color deck? Oh, <laughs> I forgot. One of my cards is really finally biting the dust. I don't know if you can see that. I had to glue it, but um, yeah, these cards are old. I mean, not that old, but I use them a lot. So that was a very sad moment when I saw that it was starting to separate. I'm like, oh, I really have used these to filth, haven't I? All right, let's get into it here. Let's see what the color card is for the week. Okay, here we go. What do we have? Will it match my eyeshadow? I don't think so. It's lilac. <laughs> Strengthen your faith. The number is 42. So there is some bit of, you know, you guys are just really hanging on. We're all just kind of hanging on to the old way. And what this card is saying, strengthen your faith. Things are going to be rumbling. Things are not going to seem, they're going to be out of the norm. That's what it is. And anytime, you know, things start happening in the world that isn't like what we're used to, everyone gets in a panic and they're like, oh, rah, rah, you know, I, I, what's the world coming to? No, the world is shifting and changing and you need to as well, <laughs> right? So that's part of that revelation. That's part of that divine feminine wisdom coming in and saying, here's how we can start taking care of one another instead of being at odds with one another. This is how we can lift people up as opposed to tearing them down and saying, well, that's not how I see things, therefore you are wrong. Ugh enough of the division all right <laughs> so i think that's it we're gonna leave it there i feel like it's a complete message i will get on to making another video about the shane dawson series and jeffree star and what the heck that has to do with uh, our consciousness all right so be sure to check that out i'm sending you all so much love and take care